I did go to college for audio engineering, um, and I the only thing I learned there is that no one should go to college. <laughs> So when you when you listen to the to the final mix and master version, how different did it sound from your original beat mix? It wasn't. I wouldn't say that it was different because you know that he didn't change the tempo or the key or none like that. He didn't change any drums. He kind of just added. Well, he didn't. I mean, uh, Wonder Girl added a few little uh, since that Travis specifically asked for. So you know he had the beat and then he sent that back to um, to Wonder Girl with some notes on what he wants to be changed on. And what she what he wants her to add so she did that and sent it back to him so but i i wasn't i wasn't aware of that because it was a quick process and she was in a session and didn't uh get the chance to tell me so it was um i wasn't i wasn't familiar with that but um it didn't sound really different to be honest because you know the beat was very you know it was a very simple beat and the things that ebony added were um just little synths and on the bridge it was a little different um me personally i really liked the, the stuff they added really added a nice flavor to the song no honestly that's one of the, the greatest mixes i've ever heard in my life everything is just i don't know how the hell they did it to be honest with you it's, it's that's why i'm not an engineer so i just wondered did you have that moment where you listen to it and thought damn that's a good mix because that that mix is clean the drums are crazy i i think that the mix was was good but i, I liked the, my personal mix before it got mastered because i feel like um, with the mastering process because they have to make it you know for commercial spots and you know radios and all that so they have to kind of limit the bass um the mix was actually extremely similar to um how i made it i'm an engineer myself i'm very into the mixing and mastering and i spend a lot of time on it so when when i heard the master version i was kind of shocked how much different the bass knocked because the bass knocked way harder um before it went to mastering but that's normal because you know radios and all that and all that like they they don't really like to like bass too too loud because you know that that's going to distort so um no the, the mix was very very similar because you know I, I i make my mix like that pretty much to have a knock and have the bass going crazy uh so the mix didn't really sound too too different i would just say the bass was a little limited that's it so i, I saw in a, in a couple articles actually that you've been described as wonder girl's first artist since we're on the subject of of uh wonder girl so you're signed to her label. Are you signed as a as a, like a solo artist, a producer, a vocalist? I'm not signed to her anymore. We had a we had a production deal, so you know we would just work on stuff together. And um, Anadol was part of you know the term with the production deal. So um, and that was kind of yeah that and I think uh, another record with uh, Little Sims from the UK. Shout out to her. I think that was uh, that was still in the terms as well. But uh, that contract is over now, and um, yeah, I, I don't really. Um, I don't have any deal with her at the moment. Uh, you've released a few instrumentals under your name, probably more than a few, and, and they're really, you, they're treated as full songs, basically, but it's instrumental music. And a lot of yeah. producers don't do that. You know, they feel like their beats need vocals, they need features, they need rappers. What compelled yeah. you to release your beats as standalone tracks? One of the reasons was is because I wanted people to kind of know my versatility because I don't really make those crazy banging beats only. Like I made kind of, you know, trap, you know, boom bap, EDM, like all, all, all types of stuff. So I really wanted people to kind of get familiar with the ranges of my sound. And I also wanted people to get familiar with my mix because a lot of people, you know, like you said, feel like my mix really stands out, especially on Antidote. And, you know, that was a, a mix how I would make it sound, you know what I mean? And Antidote was, you know, a mix that I created and, you know, the beats that I post on SoundCloud are also mixes that I do. I don't have anyone mix my stuff. I have no one record for me or record me or record any of my artists. You know, usually the artists that I work with want me to record it or, you know, if they don't record it with me, at least want me to mix it because, you know, they're very confident in what, what I can do with the mixes. So with the stuff that I posted on SoundCloud, I really wanted people to, you know, have, have, a, have a vision on what what my sound is like and what what my music you know needs to get to are, are you self-taught then or did you have formal training as an engineer no um on the on the you know producing aspect i actually started off on this little app called garage band you know this was back in back in high school um and from there i kind of just progressed i got fl studio got my own laptop and just started you know, looking up tutorials and how to do stuff. So no no one really taught me how to do anything producing wise at all actually. And a lot of people also think that Ebony, you know, Wonder Girl mentored me, but 
it was it was kind of a you know we connected kind of so things that she did and things that i did were similar but different so you know i would do something and she would ask me like hey why are you doing it that way you know there's an easier way of doing that and i was like oh same word you know and then um that's kind of how the vibe we got so no one really taught me so i i, I kind of progressed on my own i would say also with the whole engineering you know what i mean that's all self-taught i i don't i've never had anyone mentor me professionally i did go to college for audio engineering um and i the only thing i learned there is that no one should go to college 